Who's this an impression of? Humph! That's another fine mess you got me into, Stanley. Who is it? <laughs> what, Basil Brush? What? <laughs> Well, whatever you think of my impression, our next challenger would have had no problem in identifying it. Wendy Davey from Tamworth is a big fan of Laurel and Hardy and is a member of their fan club, The Sons of the Desert. Wendy says that she knows any one of the 53 Laurel and Hardy films made by Hal Roach so well that she can tell us the name of the film and the year of its release by hearing a short piece of dialogue. Tonight, she will attempt to identify five pieces of dialogue chosen at random by a member of our studio audience. And that's from a selection of 50. OK, this is Bruno's challenge. Bruno, why are you back in this? Well, I've got some very fond memories of, uh, of Laurel and Hardy. I used to watch it when I was about 12 years of age. I used to sit in the living room with my granddad, and I, I'd be rolling his fags at the same time, you know. <laughs> uh, that, you might think that's easy. Well, no, that was shocking, <laughs> I thought, dear. That's all, you know. It is shocking now when I think about it, but I was rolling around laughing at the same time. Oh. But, uh, no, I mean, I, I've always been a big Laurel and Hardy fan, so I, I'm pretty confident on this Terrific. one. Terrific. Press your yes button. And a little tip for our children. Granddad should not smoke! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't say that, Nick. Well, I am also a great Laurel and Hardy fan, as indeed I imagine most people are. And I shall be fascinated to see this uh, lady do this feat. I think she may well manage it, so I'll go for yes this time. I'm taking no chances. Thank you, Doctor. Ruth? Well, I'm also a great fan of Laurel and Hardy, but um, there are so many films that I think it's uh, a very great feat, this one. I don't think she's going to do it, actually. OK, they exactly. are only small snatches of dialogue as you well, sure? I will tell you, you yes. Sure. Right. OK, press your no button. OK. Let's see what our audience thinks. Place your bets now, please. And what do you think at home? Do you know the Lauren Hardy films? How well do you know them? How well do you know any subject? Place a bet with your family. And here, they say, only 51 say yes and 49 say no. But before we meet Wendy, I, of course, need a friend from the audience. Will you excuse me? I know who I want. Where is he? Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Alan. Alan, where are you from? Enfield, Middlesex. Splendid. Would you care to join me? I certainly will. Thank you so much. Alan from Enfield, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Start, let's start up this end. I, what I'd like you to do is pick five clapperboards, and on the back of these clapperboards, I'll just show you, is, uh, is the piece of dialogue which will be chosen to be read out to Wendy. OK, now don't mention the number, just point to any five of the 50 available. That's our first one. And Alan's very keen here. He's <laughs> on to his second one. Thank you. Are you a Laurel and Hardy fan yourself? Yeah, I do like them, yeah. yeah yes, sir. That's handy, isn't it? There's a third one. Right. Any particular favourites? Not really, no. No, not really. Song. Don't know any of them, do you? There's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> number four. <laughs> one last one. We've got it. Oh, well, it's do keep up. It's, uh, <laughs> there's our final one. Excellent. Terrific. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan from Enfield. Please welcome our son of the desert, Wendy Davey. Hello. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Are you feeling all right? Terrible. Oh, would you feel terrible? Mm. You'll be all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, how long have you been uh, a member of the Sons of the Desert? Only two years. And how did you first uh, actually get interested uh, in... Laurel and Hardy. Well, I, I did read about the address of the Appreciation, Appreciation Society, yeah. Course of the Desert, and it went on from there, snowballed. How from many there. How many films did they actually make? Well, they made 105, but one's been recently found, 106 altogether. Really? Is that a silent one? Yeah, that's a silent well, one. Well, if that gets picked out, you'll know mm. which one it is, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Can I go now? <laughs> no, you can't go now. <laughs> Wendy, have a relax. Go and take the director's chair. Thank you. You'll be all right. Don't okay. worry, you're very oh, good. Okay. Well, we welcome our doppelganger, double act, Roy Castle and Ray Saunders. <laughs> Oh. 
Evening, evening, Stanley. Nice to see you. It's going to be a nightmare, this, I can tell. <laughs> what does he mean? He's very tall for his age. He certainly is. Mm. Gentlemen, could I... It's his greens. Could... <laughs> <laughs> could I tempt you into a challenge? If you'd take your places, please. Safe. Thank you, gentlemen. OK, Wendy. Now then, just remember, you can pass on any of them, come back to them any time you like. You have no time limit. Take your time, and if you want them to repeat the dialogue, then just ask. OK? Right. You ready for your first one? Yeah. OK. Gentlemen, if you please. Do you have to ask your wife everything? Well, if I didn't ask her, I wouldn't know what she wanted me to do. Sons of the Desert or Fraternity Yours, 1933. Sons of the Desert or Fraternity Yours, 1933. Correct. OK, you ready for your second one? Yeah. Splendid. Thank you, gentlemen. She says that I think more of you than I do of her. Well, you do, don't you? <laughs> Their first mistake, 1932. Their first mistake, 1932, correct. <laughs> OK, you ready for number three? Gentlemen. What do you mean we've got to forget? None of your business. Come on and let's go. Bow Chumps, 1931. Bow Chumps, 1931. Are you ready for number four? Yeah. Well, here we are at last, right down in the gutter. I wonder what's the matter with us. We've just got as good as other people, yet we don't seem to advance ourselves. We never get any place. Don't look at me, I've got nothing to say. <laughs> A chump at Oxford, 1940. A chump at Oxford, 1940, that's right. <laughs> Number five, gentlemen, thank you. You can't bluff me. That was in my gilded youth, my primrose days, before I was married. Chickens Come Home, 1931. Chickens Come Home, 1931. <laughs> What did I tell you? <laughs> it is nerve-wracking, though, isn't it? It is. You always think there's one you don't know. I knew yeah. you'd do it. I knew you'd do it. Let's just find out about our dollar. Ray, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a driver for the gas board. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why he did all the gassing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Castle and Ray Saunders. Give them a big <laughs> And a special one. Thank you. Thank you. A special thank you. Wendy Davies. Yay. Yes. Well done. Yeah. You're off, this is Bruno. I'm saying nothing, Stanley. A very wise choice. And I, I'm very proud of Wendy. I think she did. Uh, she was terrific there. And th you know, the thought that you could have gone for as many as 105 film titles altogether. So that's great. No forfeit. Yeah. Well done, Bruno. You go to 123, and you have no forfeit. Doctor Hinge, my yes, dear. Yes, well, I was pleased to be um, proven correct on that one, Matthew. I thought it was quite a remarkable feat of memory. Astonishing. Really. She's a remarkable. Person, I couldn't do it myself, but uh, oh, go on. You, oh. you, you, no, I mean that, dear. <laughs> <laughs> You've got 51 points. Oh, oh, Ruth. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Never mind. You've still got 72, which means Have that I? you're still second in the running. Oh, right. Okay? Thank you. So don't worry. And there's plenty of time. And, of course, with our audience, 51 of you were correct. Well, that's another fine mess we've gotten ourselves out of. Join us in part two.